Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nashore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you how to set up a printer wirelessly. This is a multifunction machine, Canon, Image Class, MF8580, CDW. Uh, it does come with a disk and the printer has internal functionality to get set up through the computer using the wireless um, adapter. So this printer is wireless we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way using the menu so we'll light it up okay, okay. so we go to menu uh, network settings wireless LAN settings oh first we need to enable the wireless LAN. Then we go to wireless LAN settings and we're gonna use the SSID settings. We're gonna select the access point. There is our access point. Uh, now it wants to get the network key. Now I already entered the ne network key so hopefully it will remember that. Uh, we want to connect with new settings, yes. <clears throat> okay, we are connected. There is one more step that needs to be done. So let's go back. We go to TCP IP settings, IPv4 settings, and IP address settings. We do not want automatic uh, auto acquire. This may basically means the system will use DHCP. We do not want to use DHCP. Disable DHCP. Go back. Okay, let's see. Auto acquire. I don't want to auto acquire. Off. Protocol. Off. All right, so now. What is going on here? Off. Off. Oh, I'm sorry. Apply. All right. Now it wants to uh, turn off to get turned on and off. So manually acquire. Basically, we're gonna manually enter the IP address, and what we want to do is put. Uh, delete this would be nice if they told me how to do the delete okay so 105 that's how you do it uh, we hit apply 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 and now we have the comp uh, machine uh, on um, static IP of uh, 105, it's 192.168.1.105. The reason you want static IP is uh, if you add devices to your network, uh, the dynamic IP will assign different IP to this machine. And if you have all your settings set with a specific machine, reassignment of IP will mean that machine will stop working. Basically, computers will not see it. With the static IP, uh, it's gonna see it. Problem with the static IP is you have to make sure your DHCP settings in your router uh, do not include the static IP. So my settings only go up to 90, so they go from 50 to 90, plenty of IPs for uh, all the wireless devices, and everything over that is gonna be uh, static. So this one is going to be on static IP. Now um, we're going to need to uh, go back, 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 back. All right, now it wants me to turn it off. Well, 
that takes a while to turn off okay and turn it back on so the IP address should stay the same at 105 uh, again that's excluded from my uh, servers routers uh, DHCP settings okay and what we're gonna do okay I'm gonna have to get the green light here that means it's online so it's connecting right now <coughs> Now, the way to check to make sure that your printer is connected is here. We're going to go to our computer and we're just going to type in our IP address 192.168.105. All printers, all wireless printers, have um, servers inside and those servers okay so this printer is not online okay there's the steady green light if we refresh our screen we'll see our printer there you go so we have our Canon we don't really need anything here um, we just want to make sure that the printer is now wirelessly connected to the network so this printer is online now now we can go ahead and load the software. This is the old-fashioned way and this is a predictable way uh, to do things uh, where you absolutely know why things work or don't work. So our CD is going to be starting. Make sure that your computer and your printer are located on the same network. So we don't want an easy installation. We want to do, of course, the custom installation. We don't want to do anything uh, hard or easy, I should say. Okay, we want to do network connection, and we we'll do next. Um, we'll install. We don't really well. Manuals. We don't need manuals on this computer. Yeah, we do that. Install course agree like we have a choice here I never understood why there is a choice agree or not agree okay drivers okay so it's going to go through and install everything and all right it's supposed to ask us and give us the information Okay, this is the firewall settings. You do want to allow the system to um, open firewall ports. So it's looking right now for the device on the network. As you can see, there is our IP address we've entered 105. So nothing is a surprise here. Okay, and we do next. And this is the only thing that really needs to be checked that is the software finds the printer for you and we do not need to share it since this is a laptop the only w reason you would want to share the printer is if you and now it's installing all those different drivers so I'm not sure why it's doing that or shouldn't be asking me um, the only reason you would want to have the printer shared is if you have a server and the server 
can have the driver basically it's going to be hosting the driver for everybody so you connect the printer to your server and you share the printer from the server to everybody if you have laptops do not ever share any printers because once you turn off you're going to create a lot of uh, confusion on the network because if someone else connects to your laptop's shared printer and you leave the laptop or turn it off they will never be able to print and frankly might not be able to find out why so <coughs> definitely no sharing install the driver for each laptop and desktop for that matter only the server installation would have the printer shared if you only have one computer does not matter but still shouldn't be shared so right now it's installing the drivers scanner so this would give us the ability to scan from uh, the computer so it's setting up the printer to be default and it wants to do a test page for each so it installed different types of printers I don't need a test page for every single one just one is enough so there you go it's processing and uh, let's check how fast it's printing supposed to be fast all right print it check our page to, there you go test page looks good all the drivers are installed and everything is connected properly I'm not sure what else it's printing Okay, but at this point it doesn't matter. So, so that's it for the uh, complex but straightforward setup of the wireless printer. Truthfully, this would apply to any wireless printer. First thing you do is you connect the printer to the network. If you do not have this kind of readout display there may not be an easy way or hard way to do the easy way and the reason I'm saying the hard way to do the easy way is uh, if you do the hard work of manually adding the printer to the network you will know exactly why it's working or why it's not working if you just rely on a CD to, all the do, to do all the work for you it will default to all of the automated things and sometimes like if you bring an iPad if you bring another laptop the D DHCP address assigned IP will change and your printer will be unavailable so hopefully this helps somebody and I hope you have a really good day thank you